the then president of uh, uh, Egypt was a niece to Madame Fatia. So his name is called Mr. Gama. He was uh, his excellency Gama. So in 1957, they got married and Madame Fatia came to Ghana. So those that went in the hand of uh, marriage of Madame Fatia. Their image is in the main museum. When you get there, you will see a photo of them and Madame Fatia and Mr. Nokomatu. So in that marriage, he had three children. They conceived three sons, uh, three children. So my, uh, Mr. Osage Fudoka Kwame Kuma had one son earlier before marrying Madame Fatia. And the name of the woman was called Madame Fanny Damela. He was two years older than our Sergeant for Dr. Kwan Kuma. He was born on 14th March 1907, and our Sergeant for Dr. Kwan Kuma was born on 21st March, the 21st September 1909. So, and he, 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 he and that woman, it was dating, it wasn't marriage, so they didn't official marry. And they had the, his, his earlier son was born on 1935. And the others with Madame Fatia, the first son was conceived in 1950, followed by a lady, her name is called Samia Yaba, she was, who was conceived in 1960, and the last one called Seku, who was conceived in 1963. In 1958, Ghana had a union with Guinea, of which in 1961 Mali also joined. So in 1963, Osajefo Dr. Kwa went to Ethiopia for the formation of African Union. So he and Haile Salazi to they have a picture in there. So when you get to the main museum, you see that picture too. So in 1963, he went to Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, for the formation of African Union. And in 1966, he went to Vietnam for a peacekeeping meeting. Whilst he was away, a FIFA and Koteka had a coup at the beginning. The reason that the Asahi put a after Africa and said, he helped them to break their uniform in the United States. So, he was overthrown and he never stepped foot in Ghana. He went to Guinea. Once in Guinea, they made him as the co-president. So, in 1966 to 1972, he was serving under Guinea as the co-president. So, in, whilst in Guinea, he was writing and publishing most of his books, and in 1972, unfortunately, he fell sick and was being sent to Romania for treatment. Whilst in Romania, he died. Wouldn't survive it. So he died in 1972, and they flew the body from Guinea, uh, from Romania to Guinea to bury him. But he has been buried three times. So they buried him in Guinea. In that same year, the mom was still alive, and together with the family members, some of the family members requested that his body should be buried at their hometown too. So they filled the body in a metallic coffin from Guinea, Conakry to Ghana to his hometown. Within that period, people were allowed to see his face from 1972 until 1992 that our late president established this park to Anna Osajifu Dr. Kwan Kwan. So this is his final resting place. So, so they flew the body from in Krafo to Accra to bury him here. So the metallic coffin has been preserved and they use the uh, they, they remove him from the metal coffin and place him in a wooden one to bury him here. So you proceed to the next stage as you continue. If you have any questions, you don't have to to ask. continue from here to so, actually this place used to be called British Polo Ground it was a nowhere area for blacks meaning that blacks were not allowed in here from the 1940s 
to the 1950 last one now a last year. So in 1957, I think most of the time that is Independence of which is a lie. We actually stood here to declare Ghana's independence. So, this place is called the Declaration Ground, and the statue that you see, you see that in other face is the west, you face forward. And the men in the water are announcing the death of our father, Dr. Kamala. The water means his vision and ideology still is. So, you say water is life. So, you can take pictures once we are done to proceed to the next day. Let's go. So I'll be explaining it. So you go in. Mm. So was established in 1992. After the establishment, they moved the body from his hometown to this place. So let's continue. So the statue that you see here used to be in the old parliament house of Ghana. And in 1960, the time that they overthrew Osao Dr. they started destroying and vandalizing most of the things that he has built. So the statue got broken, and the meaning of it is that if a sergeant for Dr. Paranguma was to be in Ghana, they would have killed him or cut him into pieces. And the head that you see separated from the statue, the head, after it got broken, someone kept it for close about 40 to 43 years. They returned it to the information center in 2009 and they brought it to this place. So let's continue. If you have any questions, you don't hesitate to ask. To add up to what I was saying, in 1966, the major reason why Africa and Kutuka did the coup was that he was using some of Ghana's resources to develop other African nations. So you, you proceed to this place. Okay. But when you get in the main museum, I'll show you a picture of the full statue. 
and there's one legend too who was standing in front of this statue that at, at, uh, on that picture, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. He is he is a heavyweight boxer yeah. of US. He came to Ghana in 1960. But unfortunately, he didn't see Osage for Dr. Kwan Kuma in person. So he stood on that statue to take a picture of him yeah. as a hero. So when you get in, you see that one too.